So we have 10,000 rows here in columns A and B, and column A is product name, column B is state. And we want to do two things. The first thing is this, how many products contain search word lamp when the state equals New York? So here we have our search word, we type it in, and then here we, have, we select our state. That's the first requirement. Second requirement is we want to show the data. We want to actually see the data that qualifies. So what I'll do now is I will load, uh, show you how to load this first table into Power Query. Now this is formatted as a table. Uh, and all we have to do here is click on data on the ribbon. Here where it says from table range, we select that and it will load this table up into Power Query. And this is just the beginning. We, we're not, we haven't done anything to it yet. So we want to go like this and say close and load to. And then in this little drop down here, we want to select only create a connection. Perfect. Now we can see we have one table loaded. And now I'm going to pause the video and load in our search word and also load in our selected state. So now I've loaded in uh, this table as well as this table. We have three of these tables loaded into Power Query. And how can we confirm that? Well, here on the ribbon, you click Data. Make sure that you select Queries and Connections. And then it'll usually be off to the right, but you can move this thing around. And we see that I've got the three tables, Product, Data, Search Word, and Select State. Now, just before we go uh, up into Power Query, let's say we get a curveball. And we want to find this, Lamp, or lamps, but not clamp. You see in a formula solution I did in a previous post, uh, it includes clamps or clamp. So we want to exclude that. So that's what we're going to do here. And uh, I'm going to use this. I'm going to just type in lamps. And now the table is extended. And we want to, it could be either lamp with New York or lamps with New York. So let's now uh, go up into Power Query and start to build the solution. So we right click any of these and click on edit. And now we're back up in Power Query. So the first thing we want to do is just make sure we have all three tables, which we do, and maybe rearrange this just a little bit so we can see more on the screen here. I guess that is, that's fine. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to say uh, add column, custom column. A couple of things we want to do here um, is to say product two, and we want to have a space at the beginning, and then we say product name and add a space at the end. Perfect, because we don't want to find, this is to avoid uh, that situation where we are bringing back the word clamp or clamps when it's inside of it. So we've done that. And the second thing we want to do is go like this, right click, transform, lowercase. Because in this situation, we don't care whether it's uppercase L in lamp or lowercase. So we also want to go to search word. I want to uh, right click on this. No, actually, I want to do this. I want to say add column, custom column. And we will call this search two. We'll do the same thing here. Go like that. And maybe you have a different way to do this. If so, please add a comment below the video. So we go like that. And then afterwards, we add our space. All right. Now we have these two things. And uh, you know what? I want to remove this one. We don't need that right now. So I'm going to click on this and say remove. So now we have this part done. So now we want to move on and we want to uh, merge product data and state. So these are still all three independent tables. We're not doing anything together. So I'm going to select product data and also hold on the control key and select state. And now we want to do a merge, which we're going to find over here. We click home, combine, merge queries as new. We click that. And now we want to say, uh, in here, select product data. This is the big table with 10,000 rows. We want to join this on New York, the sta selected state with our state here. Okay, that's how we join these two or merge them. And then in the drop down, we want to say inner join uh, only matching records, right? So we're just getting New York because we selected New York as our state. So we do this. Uh, that is working nicely. We get uh, oh, we have to click on this to expand it. So we expand it like this, and now we see we're only getting New York. That is perfect. So now we want to add our search word, because right now we we're not filtering by the search word at all, or I should say search words, because it is lamp or lamps. Um, see, And now I'm going to do one other thing here. It says merge one. I want to change this and call this 01 uh, all rows. So when we're finished, this is the part that's going to show all the rows. So click enter, 
And now we want to do this. We want to go over here, add another column, custom column. Here we want to say um, search word, search word found. Let's just, well, that's fine, search word. And here it's going to be search word. We want to just repeat it all the way down, repeat both of those uh, words, search words, all the way down. And we do this, we see it says table, right? There's, there's a va two values in there. We go like this, we click, and uh, we want to expand it. I don't want to see the original column name, so let's click OK. And now we see that we're getting two rows. So this is actually our Cartesian product, something from my database day. So uh, one row for lamp, another row for lamps. We're checking to see if each one of those words is in here. If we had uh, three search words, we would see three rows out of the original one row. So now we want to add one more column to search for our, our search words here inside of our product name information. So once again, custom column, we go up here and we'll just call this found with a question mark. Go in there and we want to use this text. There's a whole bunch of these and you have to make sure that it's, uh, it is, you have to spell it carefully and text.position of, and we want to look inside of our product name two, and we want to search for search two, right? Either one of those words, lamp or lamps. Then we click OK, and we see that we get a minus one when it, when the word is not found, and we get uh, some kind of a number when it's found. It tells us where it's found inside of the cell. So the L in lamp here is found right there, the 20th position counting over from the left. Now, the last thing we have to do here is go like this, uh, click on number filters and say does not equal, and then we're just going to type in a minus one. So now, this gives us all the rows that we need to see, but maybe just a little bit of a cleanup here. We don't need to see state twice. So I'm going to go like this and uh, remove this column, and we have the product name twice. I'm going to stick with the original one, uh, so I'm going to right click and remove this guy and then we'll keep lamp but we don't need to see this found right we don't need to, to know where it was found within the cell now we have this and i'm going to right click and just change this so it's just simply called product name hit enter and now up here under file i'm going to say uh, close and load to and i will select a new sheet new worksheet go like that click ok and we're going to get our data returned to us. So there are 16 rows where we have lamp or lamps. But there is one other thing. We want to actually get that as a number. So let's go back into Power Query and finish that part. So I'm going to make sure that I see my tables here. Right click, edit. We go back into here and click this, we see all of these. Now I want to, this is pr exactly what I want, and I also need this for that last part of counting the rows. So I'm gonna go like this and say reference. I'm gonna reference this and recall it 02, and then say count rows. And then I'll just remove this last part here. So I press enter, and what do we need to do now? Uh, I basically just want to count. So I want to go up here and find uh, group, right? So I want to see, there it is, group by, and then I want to say uh, group by selected state. Let's do that. We also, let's do advanced, but we want to group by two things. We also want to group by the search two, the word, because we have two search words. Okay, we do that, and then um, we want to say, that's fine, count rows that's perfect. We're going to click OK. And there are our 16. Wow, that is so simple. So uh, we could combine it, but I kind of like seeing it counting 15 for lamp, 1 for lamps. And now we simply go like this and say close and load 2. And I want to put it on the same sheet. So existing worksheet, I go like this. I select, let's select cell G1, go like that and press OK and we see how that loads in. So that's basically it. Just a few steps, a couple of concepts, and we can go uh, make, automate this process. So we see the rows, and then we can count the ones that qualify. 